Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be taking you through a little 3D exercise, I guess you could call it, uh, drawing a 3D tank and then a top and then putting some piping or a nozzle on the side of the uh, tank. So let's get started. Um, first thing we'll want to do is go into MetQ and choose this icon here, Tanks. And this will get a 3D tank drawn in for us. I'm choosing a flat top because I'm going to want a domed top. And I'm going to show you how to draw one of those. So we got 60 inches for our diameter and 72 inches for our height. And just select Draw and place any point here in your drawing. And there's our tank there. The other thing I wanted to tell you is I have this toolbar turned on. You can do that right clicking on the uh, ribbon and going to PCAD and then and then turning on the view toolbar here. Um, so in this I have my top view and then I have my isometric view which I'm going to be using a few times here. So let's go to top view and I'm going to draw a circle using the C command and then picking a point and then typing in 30 to match this radius here and I'm going to draw a construction line from here to here. Now in my object snaps I have these turned on so I got endpoint quadrant center and midpoint. Now my dome is going to be 8 inches high so I'm going to copy this up CO command and Turn on my ortho, make sure I'm copying straight up, 8 inches. I'm just using direct distance input, so I'm just typing these as I'm pointing my cursor into the direction that I need. Uh, and then I'm going to draw an arc using the A command. And the starting, the midpoint, and then the end point. I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to draw another construction line going from the top to the bottom. Now I just want this side only. I'm going to get rid of this side. So I'm going to just um, trim it. So TR and then enter and then select this side here. So that just leaves me with one side. Now I'm going to go into Southwest Isometric again. And I'm going to go to Modify. 3D Operations and 3D Rotate and I'm going to select the entities here press enter then the axis of rotation which is from here to here and then our angle which is going to be 90 degrees and that's going to flip this up into 3D space so if we look at this thing from um, go down to the uh, the view tab here and do a real time we can uh, we can kind of look at this thing in 3d to make sure that it's correct and uh, so next thing we're going to do we are going to choose the 3d tools and we're going to choose a sweep command and I can select this piece here on this side and then the path and that basically models up our top for our tank. So now we can just move this with the move command picking it from the quadrant to this quadrant. And we'll just erase this. Now the next thing I wanted to show you was how to put a nozzle on the side of this. So let's go into top view and we'll kind of zoom down on this a little bit and we're going to put a nozzle right here on this this side so a way to do that is load up MetQ go to ortho piping here we have butt welded I'm going to make this let's say eight inches and I'm going to just choose a straight piece of pipe. This is a lot like my last video. 
I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video, so have a look at my last video on just 3D piping aspect. And I'm going to choose View Draw. And I'm going to snap to this quadrant right here. Using direct distance, I'm going to point my cursor in this direction. And then I'm just going to draw that out at 6 inches. And press Enter. So that puts my pipe in. I'm going to put a uh, flange on the top of that. And you can see the last point there. I'm going to just press Enter. And then exit. If I wanted to, I could just move this inward a couple of inches. Uh, so that it protrudes into the tank. So let's go into front view. And now we're going to move this because we snapped it to the top here. I'm going to move this down a couple of feet. So I'm going to select it by crossing, type the M command, and then making sure my ortho is turned on, and using direct distance, type in two feet. And now we can view our model. So I'm going to go into Southwest Isometric and zoom down here. I'm going to shade this. And then go into, if we wanted to view it a little bit better, we could go into a real time sphere, kind of see what we've done. So hopefully this helps. Feel free to call me at 888-271-7121 if you have any questions, and we hope you have a great day. Bye.